Hey guys, we're at Halen Field Farm, day 85 of our 100 day homestead challenge. And today, today I'm going to get the roof on the farm stand. It's a little muggy out. Hopefully the mosquitoes will hold off a little bit. But, uh, should only take, I got three sheets, so three feet wide, so should only take those three, I hope. Um, it's eight feet wide, so we should be good. And I went with black. Um, didn't really want a white because I didn't want it to glare with the sun towards the house. Um, and then all they had was black or gray, so I figured I'd go with black. It matches the house. And, uh, get that whipped up on real quick and it shouldn't take too long I think I may have to go get my truck so I can reach the roof um, or grab the ladder but I think honestly the truck's gonna be quicker so I'm gonna get these panels up and then uh, we'll get them screwed into place <laughs> on not too bad nice and sturdy and uh, keep the rain out of there makes it look a little more complete makes me happy um, and overall it's only $20 a panel and then I had to buy a bag of screws so um, probably about $65 for the roof so all in all this farm stand is going to come in under 200 um, I was expecting the roof to be a hundred, but uh, found some found a better deal on panels. So I did miss two screws. I just left them in. It's fine. And then uh, other than that, we're good. Shouldn't come off. I'll keep it nice and shaded in here. And uh, it definitely makes it look more complete. So these bugs have been awful. Oh, crazy. I had to put this long sleeve on because they were just biting me like crazy. I had to put on the net. So, all right, so I'm just going to pick everything up, make sure I get all the screws that fell, and then uh, we'll head back up and check on the animals. All right, back up with the animals. Make sure they don't need any water. It's kind of hot today. I'm sure the pigs need some because they tend to go bathing in it. humid day. Hello goats. Hello piggies. Get some water for you. Got some water. Oh, a little bit. Oh, that butterfly. There you go. Those two pigs. Hello. Hello. 
morning, ladies. You guys got plenty of water. I have swimming pools full. Hi. Hello. Hey, still got that cough, huh? Hi. Hi. Hello. Yep. Oh, poor Mr. Bojangles. Get your horn stuck. Be careful. Check out the chicken in the water. They have some. They're okay. Check out Luke. I thought I heard a rumble of thunder, but pretty far off if it is. Hey Luke, how you doing? Uh, if you need some water. Tarp cover, make sure he's got plenty of shade. Uh, get you some water, I'll be right back. Be right back. Yeah, it's starting to cloud in a bit, looks like. To get the goats in the barn. I had to get them in yesterday, the day before, when it was raining, and uh, they like went right to the barn and then came right back out. It took me ten minutes to get them in. Want some water, buddy? Hey, bud. Hey. 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 Little bunny. What? You got hay and you got water? You're good. <clears throat> go down and check the greenhouse. Make sure that's not getting too hot. I opened it up this morning and then rolled up some of the windows. Pretty toasty in there. Oh. This field gets so pretty, it's got all these purple flowers in here. It's just so you can see them spread throughout. Oh. There we go. Well, everything's still pretty damp. Like those need a little water. Yeah. Need some water for them tomatoes. But everything else looking okay. Those watermelons we transplanted seem to be doing really good. Celery's coming up. Uh, find my watering can. Yep, there's definitely some thunder. Ways off though, so I'm not too worried. <clears throat> All right, Sarah, what'd you do with the water and can? <clears throat> oh. So much weeding to do, just uh, never ends. <clears throat> Next year, we'll have a little better garden, a lot less weeds. It's going to take some time, that's all. Can't expect to you know, have everything perfect in the first year homestead. It's going to take years and years to really build it up. And, uh, get it the way you want it. Oh, forgot to get water. Uh, the sun might be frying my brain a bit. snake um, the potatoes here they're starting to pop up that we planted in this no-till bed so that's a uh, pretty encouraging it took about a week longer than I thought but, uh, 
potatoes are coming in too. Put a few on this one now. This one is full. It's crazy awesome. This one's not doing as productive. They are popping out. So, let's see what we end up with. We'll, be, we'll do a video on that in the fall when we harvest them, we'll weigh them all out. Let you guys know how much potatoes we actually ended up with. Guys, a little water. humid but yeah there's definitely a storm coming so I'm gonna go get these goats in and uh, get them put up safe in the barn <clears throat> and, uh, so not a bad day get the roof on now we just really need a sign pick up some crates and get a chalkboard and then, uh, we should be good to go on that. So. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Uh. Let's go. Now get your heads out of there. Come on. Oh, guys. Come on. There you go. There you go. Goodness gracious. Grab the grain. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I can coax them in a little easier than yesterday. Come on. Come on, babies. Yeah. Everybody in. Quick, quick. Four out of five. No, nope, get in there. Come on, Tully. Where are you going? Come on. Get down. Come on. Get over here. Get in there. Go. Go. Nope. Go. Come on. Oh, goodness. Actually went better than it did yesterday. Really gonna make a better latch for the door, but this is temporary till we finish the barn. Hopefully next couple weeks. Just gotta get Mr. Bojangles separated from the others. So. All right, well, animals are in. Yeah, thunderstorm's coming. The roof's on the farm stand. So, you can see, I didn't show you guys yesterday, but this is what the pond looks like now after all that water drained out. So, I was hopeful it would hold, but oh well. If it, maybe if it had a more steady source, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll get a lining or something. I definitely would like to get that done. So, all right. So this has been day 85 of our 100-day homestead challenge. 15 days to go. Um, we're hoping to have that farmer's market the day before the challenge ends. And then uh, probably do a, a recap on the last day. So, but, all right. So, yep, that's it. And, uh. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching.